again my obeisances and loving hugs to all of you. So on the sweet will of Gurudev, we will go on sharing quotes from Chaitanya Charit Amrita in different kind of scriptures. Here we are now searching in Shri Shri Radharasa Sudhanidhi from Srila Prabhupada Saraswati. Last time we came to verse number 26 and we ended up with the verse from Chaitanya Charit Amrita Ladini Tvaraya Kore Bhaktera Poshana. Through his pleasure potency, Krishna maintains the devotees. And that pleasure potency is Shri Radha. And now Krishna has accepted the lustra and mood of Shri Radha and has descended as Gora to bless all the conditioned souls of the age of Kali with the most benevolent gift of Raganuga Brahma, which was hidden in the storehouse of Brajas Nikunjas. Sri Radhika is the quint essence of compassion indeed. So this is where we ended up last time just for remembrance. From here we start to go on. And in this connection we heard that only in Radharani's case, only in her case, a person is melting out of compassion. Not only the heart, like usual, we say usually his or her heart melts out of compassion. No, Radharani, the whole person is melting out of compassion. Only in her case. And this mood was adapted by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And this is the gift he brought us directly. So, how fortunate we are that we can get this gift. It's an offer to every soul. It's not just an esoteric circle. Actually, esoteric from the ground conception means a circle, a small circle, who is exchanging um, a very uh, hidden information about Brahma. So it's not just for such a circle. No, it's for everyone. And now we see by the mercy of Gurudev and by the mercy of other Mahajans that this mercy from Radharani is openly spread. We are talking about this openly. It's not hidden anymore and this is the mercy of Radharani. So whenever you feel that you want to share something with us, then you are invited. Otherwise, I will just go on searching for the quotes and reading them. And here and there, maybe go a little deeper. So verse number 27, I found two quotes from Chaitanya Charit Amrita and it is also a wonderful, a very nice verse from Shri Radharasa Sudhanidhi. It's about the six jewels. 
Radharani is representing. So I will read the verse first to understand what is the topic. May Sri Radhika, who is a Jintamani gem for the surrendered souls, the crown jewel of girls in Braj, the jewel of Maharaj Prishabhanu's dynasty, the jewel who pacifies Shyam's desires, and the jewel who adorns the cottage in the play bower, be the real jewel in the jewel box of our hearts. Radharasa Sudhanidi 27, about the six jewels. And here, in the explanation, in the commentary, there are two quotes of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. So, because it is a very nice verse also, and it's not nice to just have the quote, we have to have the connection. Uh, we may read also, not the whole, but some parts of the commentary. And, of course, at least we have to hear what are these six jewels. So, the first jewel in the commentary, it is written, Just as a Chintamani jewel fulfills all desires, Jai Gurudev, Ah, so Niti Didi is also there, Radha Rade. <laughs> my loving obeisances again and my loving hugs. So just as a Chintamani jewel fulfills all desires, Sri Radhika is the Brahma Chintamani, fulfilling the single desire for the treasure of Brahma in the surrendered souls. Mahaprabhu who had accepted Sri Radha's sweet Chintamani mood, said, Even if you don't offer your obeisances unto me, but blaspheme me instead, I will still make you offer obeisances, and I will give you the treasure of Prema. So here we can see the cleverness and the heart-melting compassion of Radharani. Our heart, at least, should be melted, because her whole existence is melting out of compassion for us. Because this is the mood of Radharani, Mahaprabhu said, okay, I will take sannyas, because we know in Indian it's a tradition, sannyasi always should be offered obeisances. So, they will offer me obeisances also, they don't know who I am, they will not understand. They will not understand the mood. They may think, I'm a crazy person, going around, singing, dancing, crying for Krishna, they may have no respect. But when I take sannyas, they will have respect. Also the impersonal persons will have respect. And by offering me obeisances, I will give them the whole mercy immediately. What wonderful thoughts out of compassion and mercy. So 
So in this mood, Mahaprabhu, who had accepted Sri Radha's sweet Chintamani mood, said, Even if you don't offer your obeisances to me, but blaspheme me instead, I will still make you offer obeisances and I will give you the treasure of Prema. So we often heard that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is distributing it to everyone, offering everyone. You just have to want it. But here we can see this is not enough. No, even if you don't want it and you blaspheme, even then you should get that mercy. Even then. This is a person who is melting completely out of compassion, not just the heart. Otherwise, how could we, I mean, at least I can speak for, for myself, how could a fallen soul like me completely into all kinds of abominable, uh, uh, how, how it said? Uh, uh, Grauenhaft, Suniti, Abstoßende. Lade? Hm? What is the Auf, English? Was? Aufstoßen? Nee, abstoßende oh. Ding. A bonable? A, a bonne, oh. What is this? Yeah, abdominable. It's a difficult word. Or you could uh -huh. also say maybe. Yeah, crazy things. Things usually you don't you don't do in other yogas. So just enjoying the senses and completely be crazy. So at least I can say, how could a person like me talk about the glories of Radharani? How it could be possible without without such mercy? The mercy given by Radharani and handed by the Mahajans, handed by Gurudev to us. So he was thinking, Mahaprabhu was thinking, all the people will perish if they don't honor me. Thinking like this, the Lord's heart melted with compassion and he took sannyas. They will offer obeisances unto me, thinking me to be a mere sannyasi. Still, that will destroy their misery and save them. Mure na moni le sap loko hope na sha elagi kri partra prabhu korila sanyasa sanyasi bhud he more kori bo namaskara tatapi kandi be dukka poi be nishtara Chaitanya Charitamrita Arilila Chapter 8 All the people will perish if they don't honor me. Thinking like this, the Lord's heart melted with compassion and he took sannyas. They will offer me obeisances, thinking me to be a mere sannyasi. Still, that will destroy their misery and save them. Sri Radha is a storehouse of compassion for the surrendered souls. Jindamani also indicates the remembrance practiced by devotees. She is like a jewel, Mani, playing within the thoughts, chinta, of the surrendered souls.
When that remembrance becomes intense, then that chintamani will be visible inside out. Oh, that you have to explain, Gaurav. It's so uh, interesting to meditate about this. If you would yeah. like to help us, then how is this you coming, have to help becoming us. visible inside out? And you why is Shivati Radhika playing within <laughs> the thoughts? <laughs> it is set here like, like a Chintamani gem. And it is very nicely de described here, Jewel Mani, playing within the thoughts, Chinta, of the surrendered souls. So she will clean the heart and spreading her infulgence everywhere. You know, a jewel which is full of light, you know, every facet is giving some beam of light. It's shining, it's shivering. Just imagine, it's really active light there all the time. It's not just the light, it's shivering, it's, it, it's amazing. Like that, we may imagine the mercy of Radharani is always active and is cleaning like beams the inside of the heart and your thoughts will be catched will be by the light cleaned up so in this way it is not possible to stay in darkness the light is spreading inside and of course then it will come also outside because if you think about Radha then you start to talk about Radha you will talk about her glories because these glories inside are giving you these feelings and it's like a volcano breaking out so in this way, it's not possible to not talk about her glories. Because we hear about her, we hear about her, uh, like here, her character. We hear about the six gems she's representing. We heard about the seven oceans already. We hear about this wonderful, amazing compassion of her. We hear about her Mahabhav. We hear about the jewel in Brishabhanu's dynasty. When we hear all about these characteristics, just by hearing, the heart is flooded with that light coming from every facet of this gem, Chintamani gem. And this Chintamani gem will clean up our Chinta. And then it will break even through us outside. Because like now, so many addicted persons are here again, coming practically every day to sharings. Every day they want to listen again and again about Radharani, about her rasa, about her Mahabhav, and so on. About her qualities, like here. So in this way, of course, it will break through from inside also out. But this is only one aspect. I th think that you have more aspects of this, so please share with us. I can only say, Gauravani, that like you said, when this jewel 
of the remembrance of Srimati Radhika's words and her form and her pastime, when this appears in the mind, this is also her mercy, this is Gurudev's mercy. And we also know sometimes they just become more quiet and there's not so much, uh, do you say, online uh, experience. <laughs> then also this is mercy that we can feel how dry it is without them, how dry it is, how dry it can be again. When we take everything for more, you know, for granted. So, and also I can feel sometimes even if I don't want to remember or not consciously effort to remember, then sometimes Swamini and Gurudev, they give mercy of remembrance and comes hidingly around the corner, appearing on the devotee's tongue. And that tongue is also what we are doing now. What is it? We are vibrating with the tongue, some sound, and we are practicing how to glorify. Because that is our eternal service. And when the name appears on the tongue, or in the mind the name appears, or in the mind some remembrance comes, what we have heard, this is all actually mercy, I feel. It is mercy. And then this astonishment happens, this uh, amazing feeling of, my God, it is so wonderful. Let's share it. Let's spread it. That even Mahaprabhu, although he was so happy in his feelings with his mother and with his devotees, he knew it was like a... It was tough for him no, to give up his sweet relations because sannyas, even at that time, it was strict. The people would look on you, how you behave. And we know that Mahaprabhu was also criticized. Oh, you are overeating. I see the aunts in your room. That must be you are hiding some sugar somewhere. <laughs> you know, the people, they look at you if you have any kind of position. Especially sannyasi, they look at you and you cannot uh, avoid this. So for Mahaprabhu, who is in the feelings of Radhika, it was also some kind of, you know, renunciation to take sannyas. He didn't want that. Just like it was for our Gurudev. He didn't want to take sannyas. He was also kind of... No, above sannyas already, although he will not like to hear it. But he was not interested in any kinds of uh, showing off his renunciation, showing off that he knows anything. And even now when he speaks about that time, he said these were not the good times. <laughs> although he was traveling everywhere and we were, it was our good times actually. We were caught. And like that, also Chaitanya, he was catching all the souls. He was doing all his leelas and he, he was inviting the souls into that divine dance. So that is also playing, na? Jintamani. Playing with the thoughts, playing with the feelings. So that is actually what we need, these uh, feelings in our life, in my life that will always come again from any corner. And if we have a lot of um, good luck or a lot of, uh, how do you say that, remembrance, then in any person we can feel, oh, what is uh, Gurudev telling me in this But that's the play, no? sometimes hiding, sometimes seeking. You know more than, you all know more than me about this. Uh, so Niti, I don't know if it was also with others, but I couldn't hear you from Gurudev say, then there was some problems with internet. Could you please again start from that? <laughs> 
I have to record and pull back <laughs> if I could. Mm. Yes, my internet connection is a little bit, my internet is a little bit weak today, I noticed. I don't, I cannot uh, repeat the score of audio, I'm sorry. Um, I can your spiritual only say power that is, is too high. It cannot be transported. It's too high for me. <laughs> <laughs> Too high vibrations from you. Internet cannot no, no, transport. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, can you say from that it's not possible for me? Ooh, sorry. No problem. It was just uh, what Gurudev said, and then uh, it was disconnection. So now we will not again hear what Gurudev said, what you remember. So <laughs> a sad day, but let's try to make it a little bit more sweet. By hearing more about the mercy of Radharani. So again, she is like a jewel, Mani playing within the thoughts, chinta, of the surrendered souls. So I was thinking surrendered souls, sometimes we think surrendered souls is a person who is very, very high level, renounced order, completely nothing to do with the material life and, you know, completely surrendered in that way. I don't think that it means that. Because a helpless child who has no qualification, who's completely lost, is also surrendering to Mama. So at least my experience, because like I said, I have no qualification, so my experience is like that. I'm just trying to hold on to the lotus feet and the mercy is coming, although I have no qualification, really no, not only no qualification, I even have characteristics which are against this path, who even could spoil everything. But still, I feel the mercy of Radharani is there. And actually, this is giving me hope. This is really giving me deep hope. So I think this kind of surrender is meant here. What do you, what do you think? I mean, all. You can... Tell, you know, it's not just that one or two persons can speak, all of you, you can please share. What do you think? Radhe, Radhe. Uh, not so long ago, Shogurudev explained surrendering as uh, some addiction to the test, sweet test, which is coming from Harikatha. Rasika Vishnava, giving his Radhika <laughs> in his Harikatha, and this test, so sweet from the heart, what listener become addicted is a surrender. <laughs> I, I, I could not move without his please hello, maybe always with you. <laughs> and uh, I am so agree about, um, at least in the beginning, then uh, devotee feeling himself a small child, I mean, as a manjari towards Srimati Radhika. Then for a child is natural to be selfish, means I need Radha because she's so sweet. My heart needs to sit. It's natural for me to be with her. <laughs> Gradually, the certitude coming because this is the nature of Srimati Radhika. Uh, if you, with someone, quality coming, quality coming. 
Shrimati Radhika always fixed on Krishna. My servants always fixed on Shrimati Radhika. It coming gradually from Shrimati Radhika. And other maid servants. And what you told before, uh, sometime what we could not feel her, it's also her mercy. And it's her game with us. Mother can make a game with her children. It's called hide and seek, because this game have, has a goal. This goal is increase sensitivity of the heart to feel the dear person in which direction is dear person? By smallest, smallest, I don't know, symptoms, something. Like a dog can find the master by small particles, which is giving smell. And dog can find something like this. Then heart is eager for this test, sweet test. Then small, small friction of appearance of these feelings in some place, heart, wow, I know this. It's remind me my radar. What, 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 what is where? <laughs> like this. Radha. That's wonderful, Radha Charan. Thank you very much. So the mercy is always there for the surrendered souls. So the ones who want to take the mercy. The holy name is also Chintamani and is appearing on the devotee's tang use. Srimad Shiva Goswami writes, the deity form of the Lord appears before the eyes and the name form appears on the tangyu and from the throat. In this way, the devotees can feel this Chintamani gem in all of their senses and become blessed. So this was the first jewel, the Chintamani jewel. And it was the first quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Now I will just read about the gems and then of course the second quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita in the commentary. So Sri Radhika, the second jewel, is the crown jewel of millions of sweet bracha gopis of Shri Vindavan that are all endowed with Mahabhav and all the gopis, even Chandravali, are simply her expansions. The third jewel. Sri Radha is the jewel that brightens Prishabhanu Maharaja's dynasty. The fourth gem. She is Shyama Kama Vara Shantimanihi. The jewel that instantly pacifies Shyam Sundaras intensely burning lust that leaves a poisonous scorching effect in his heart. And now comes the second quote from Chaitanya Charit Amrita in that connection. About Krishna's lusty desires, now comes the quote, Chata Koti Gopite Nahe Kama Nirvapana 
Ihate Anumani Sri Rati Kara Guna Chaitanya Charit Amrita Billions of gopis could not extinguish the fire of his lust. From this I can understand Sri Radhika's glories. On Srimati Radhika's mere sight or touch, this vast fire of lust is extinguished. Shyama Kamavara means Shyam Sundara's greatest desire. And this is not the desire of this material world, which is based and simply centered around personal sense gratification. And in this connection, the fifth jewel, Sri Radhika, is the Nikunja Bhushamanihi, the jewel of the bowers. So in this connection, it is said, the bower houses of Brindavan are the holiest places in existence. Again, the Bauer houses of Brindavan are the holiest places in existence. But when Sri Radha doesn't appear in them, they will die of misery. So it is not when we talk about the lusty desire of Shyam Sundara that it is comparable to this material world. Because these bower houses of Brindavan are the holiest places in existence, the most pure places. Because there is the highest purest kind of love exchanged. And this has nothing to do with what we understand of lust in this material world. Radhe Radhe Gauravani. Radhe Radhe Swami. I was just, I was just remembering that uh, in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, also there is this um, comparison between karma or lust and prema is like a gold and iron. Mm -hmm. I just remember this in this contents. And um, I was just thinking, so the difference between lust and prema is that in the last, I always calculate what is in there for me, right? In the last, I want to control. And in the last, I want to, uh, yeah, be the enjoyer. So I try to, you know, understand how is Krishna's karma. That seems to be so worldly because he's also you know, enjoying a lot. He is the supreme enjoyer. He is. But at the same time, so then this uh, actually background of his uh, happiness or his uh, enjoyment is always to make the devotees happy, to make the gopis happy, and to make happy to Srimati Radhika. I think that must be the difference. Maybe we want to share on this. I, it is something that I really try to 
um, meditate because I see also like we have discussed yesterday in our German class that even uh, when uh, there is a rival, that rival's service is also to increase the love of Radha and Mohan. It is all connected to service, right? It's not that I want to snatch you away to have my own fun. Although sometimes we say that the gopis, you know, from the rival party, they snatch away. But like yesterday, Gurudev said that Chintamani is also serving Srimati Radhika and Mohan because without the complications, let's say it like that, of a rival party, all these feelings could not be uh, arise, like Shimati Radhika being in, in, in this mood of why didn't you come and why you come like this? Look at yourself. You still have a lipstick on your cheek. The garland is still on your neck. It is crushed. All these feelings of uh, her, they have something in it that gives so much pleasure to Krishna. And that is always what I meditate. I try to meditate because the mind of the human body is a limited capacity, has a limited capacity, right? It is limited. So how you can overcome this limitation of the human like uh, trying, you know, to understand how what is the difference between this karma? And prema. Maybe somebody wants to share on this. I am always interested to get some new uh, inspirations. Uh, Radhe, when I am here with what he is supreme enjoyer, Rasika Shekha, um, uh, it, for me it sounds like one person is so... I don't know how it's in English, Gurman. Person who is... What? I don't know, it's in Russian, Gurman, who is very sensitive to the test of delicious. Oh, gourmet, gourmet. Gourmet, yeah. He knows so many subtle and can feel so many subtle changes in the test. And he, for him, it's so much important what everything must be cooked cooked very carefully with very few ingredients and even the mm, mood gourmet yes it's a gourmet <laughs> the mood is important and krishna is the highest of such persons he can feel such so many connoisseur i think yeah. we need we say connoisseur yes and for him more pure love less selfish desires more test and he knows where, where is real honey, <laughs> real test. <laughs> what is like his supreme enjoy? <laughs> he wants this selfless love, most strongest selfless love. He wants this, and he become addicted for this, and now he is a servant of this. He completely, completely. Very nice. Uh, he is dancing. <laughs> As a Gora, I can glorify his love. Jai Shirade, very wonderful. Yes, this is really a, a, a very uh, important point that we understand that um, if a person is used to main uh, tastes and not the highest tastes, not so fine. Uh, like some people, they don't know how real milk is tasting because they were grown up with this uh, milk who is completely smashed, you know, and uh, ripped off all sterilized, the taste. Sterilized, yeah, sterilized. Sterilized, yes. And if you give them the real milk, they will say, bah. What's that kind of taste? Oh my God. You know, so 
Krishna is real, the, 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 the connoisseur of all these rasas. And the one who is addicted to the material tastes, he will say, no, well, I don't like that. Well, what is this kind of taste? And vice versa, of course. So actually, in this way, again, Krishna is our guru. We could find the taste on this uh, different kind of tastes of Radharani. And he is actually giving us this also. So it's wonderful to have this on uh, in, in, in the remembrance and uh, that we want to, to, to be also connoisseurs, but not enjoying but we are the, you know, the persons who, who first taste for the king before that there is no poison in it. And if it's really good like that, <laughs> we, we actually serve Radha and Radharani wants to have a perfect, really perfect meal. So we help her. That's the difference we will not enjoy it for us. And this actually needs a pure heart. If you are counting millions of money and you think, oh yes, I want to have it, I want to have it, then you are not a good uh, person for a bank, isn't it? <laughs> so this is the bank of Prima and uh, if you want to enjoy that, you are not a good uh, person to work there, so you're not a good servant. So actually, if you are not interested in anything just to serve, then you are a very good person for that job, actually. So in this way, we can see that completely selflessness, no selfish idea in any case, is the highest quality. And Radharani is just interested in serving her Shyam Sundara that he can enjoy without limits. So it nothing it has nothing to do with lust because Krishna actually I was thinking about this, he has actually the worst job, isn't it? If you think about it, he has to accept all kind of offerings of Mahabhav from all different persons. He has to accept. He cannot deny. That's his, that's his role, his, his job, isn't it? He cannot be fixed on one person. He cannot be concentrated. He cannot have stai bhav just on Radha. Although, of course, he wants, he's trying, but it's not his position. He has to accept the Mahabhav from all sides. He has to be in all these different kind of relationships. So he has a worse job, actually. The mantra can be fixed just in the service of Radharani. Completely fixed. So, who is in a better position, actually? I just thought about this. He is actually giving us a better position than he has himself. Although we may think in the material world, oh yes, the highest enjoyer, this is my job. But actually, it's not the best job, really not. The purest place is where this enjoyer is served with not even the slightest of the idea of enjoying it herself. And because Radharani is serving in that mood, the bower houses are the holiest, the most clean places in existence because of her mood to giving 
everything for his pleasure. That's why these powerhouses are so pure. And she is not considering anything about herself. She has to lie to her elders. She has to take so many troubles to come to that places to meet her beloved. She does not consider anything. She is giving herself completely. So she is the Nikuncha Bhushamani, the jewel of the bowers. And finally, Sripad is talking about the sixth gem. Sri Rata shines like a genuine gem in the jewel boxes of our hearts. This is a benediction. Huh? Our hearts. He's not saying in my heart. No, in our hearts. So may Radharani shine in every one of these boxes in our hearts. So I'm sorry to say, but these were, were the two quotes in that wonderful verse from Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. If you want to share more on that, please, you are invited. Otherwise, I will go on to the next Chaitanya Charit Amrita quote. In the next verse, 28, yes. O oh, saintly mind, quickly take shelter of sweet natured Radha, who is like a grove full of wish yielding vines, who reveals a wonderful abundance of powerful Rasika compassion and who is a deep and unbridled nectar ocean of love. So that's the topic, the sweet natured Sri Radha. And now we are looking for the quote in that topic. So in this connection it is said, no one is dear to Krishna. No one is his dearest friend. No one is unwelcome, hateful or treated with indifference by him. Nevertheless, he loves his devotees in the same way as they love him. Just as a wish-yielding tree grants the desires of men only when approached by them, so this describes the nature of Krishna. Ye yatamam prapachanti. We know this verse from Bhagavad Gita. 
I respond in the way you actually are attached to me or uh, give love to me. So I respond in the same way. The commentators on this Bhagavad verse state that the Kalpa Truma tree is not subservient to those who take shelter of him, but God is. Therefore, the Krishna Kalpa Truma gives much more. He even gives himself to his devotees. So now, first step was, according to your approaching, I will respond. But now we hear, aha, that's not all. A Kalpa Truma tree is giving you what you ask. But Krishna is not like that. Actually, he gives more. He's more merciful. He gives even himself to the devotees. Second point. Now comes the third. Srimati Radharani's love for her devotees is even greater. Therefore, Sripad says, Vyanjantam adbhuta kriparasa punjam eva. She reveals an abundance of wonderful mellows of mercy. She reveals an abundance of wonderful mellows of mercy. A whole abundance. She is Brahma Lakshmi bestowing the topmost gift of love for Govinda. In the present age of quarrel, she has appeared as Gora Chandra Mahaprabhu, who showers torrents of Brahma like a golden cloud. Hema Chaladakai Prema Dhara Varishoy. Because he accepted Sri Radha's mood, Sriman Mahaprabhu saw his willpower overruled by the force of his compassion. So first we heard he's responding Second, he is giving more, he wants to give himself, but now, in the mood of Radha, he cannot control himself anymore. That's it. So even the highest mercy of God is overpowered by that kind of mercy from our Swamini. And Krishna cannot control it anymore. His willpower, I mean, we are talking about the willpower of God. His willpower is overruled by the mercy of Radharani. Isn't that amazing? And
And this is confirmed by Sri Kavikarapuna in his Chaitanya Chantrodaya Natakam. Although God's mercy is dependent on his willpower, still sometimes his compassion becomes so great that it may overwhelm his willpower, which then becomes a mere assistance to the power of his grace. E deki chaitanyera kripa mahabhala tara anusandhana bina koraye sapala chaitanya chavit amita. I see how powerful Lord Chaitanya's mercy is. It becomes successful even without being aimed purposefully. Purposefully. So even you don't want it, you will have it. It's not like you can get it if you really want it. No. You will get it even if you don't want it. Sri Rata is a deep and unbridled ocean of nectarian love. Although the nectar flows eternally, the ocean never dries out. Sri Rata is the shelter of all the innumerable devotees of Krishna. So the best thing we can do, if not so, we did it already. O oh, saintly mind, quickly take shelter of this Supreme Personality named Radha. So we can hear that even Krishna sometimes fights with his willpower and the mercy, and the mercy sometimes is a little bit stronger than his willpower. Radharani's mercy is completely subduing his willpower. <laughs> Not only sometimes. So what a wonderful good luck we have. Again and again I think if I would have been qualified, I would never reach that goal. No way. Only on the strength of the mercy of Radha this Goal is possible. Radhe Radhe Gauravanaji, I want to share something on this. Please, please. That came to me because I just uh, I just read this verse here also, which is uh, quoted: Samoham Savabhuteshu. Namedveshro stina priya 
ye bhajanti tumam bhaktya mai te te shuchapyaham. This is what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, right? What you were mentioning also. I am equal in all living beings. I hate nobody and nobody is dear to me. But he who worships me with devotion dwells in me and I dwell in them. So I thought when I was just reading this and listening to your glorification of Sri Radhika, actually for our understanding to worship me with devotion means to worship Krishna with Radhika. Actually, when we worship Shimati Radhika, we worship him, right? Because she is the one who gives us the service and the possibility of service. And then I was thinking, because also when I was about a teenager, about 13 or 14, then I got a bep um, baptized no? because my parents, they were not so religious. But at that time, there was a priest in our school, and then we could get the also this confirmation. You know, it's not English confirmation, but it's like the the like a the first initiation in the Christian uh, church. You get like a, there's a Catholic and another kind of like initiation, kind of like you get uh, blessed by the church. And then uh, the this priest, he also said to me, please choose any verse from the Bible that you like, and that will be your verse for your life. And that verse, I was just realizing it, it had the same meaning like this verse from Bhagavad Gita. Because that verse says, God is love, and who stays in love, stays in God and God in them. So what I like is that the, you know, the meaning of, of coming in contact with love is universally the same. And we call her Radha because she is the dear most beloved of Krishna. And here Krishna is confirming it also. When you worship me with devotion, who is that personified devotion? It's our Srimati Radhika. And then when we worship her and we and she worships the Lord, then Krishna says, they dwell in me and I dwell in them. And Gurudev has always explained it to us. And then actually we have a saintly mind, right? Because that makes the mind so saintly. That makes the mind uh soft and sweet and we get all these qualities and these are the qualities of shimate radhika and like you said so nicely also in that class here now again and again when we have her qualities even to a smallest 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 extent as her dasis then my uh being is transformed in such a in such a way that the services will be accepted, you know, in a way that both of them will become happy by my services as a Darcy. And that is the transformation that I guess all of us are dreaming and aspiring of. The transformation to become Shimati Radhika's Darcy, to become the Darcy of our you know, dear beloved Gurudev. And today I want to share also, I read something from after a long time. And I think, I don't know if it was a quote of uh, our Gurudev or of, of uh, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, because I, I couldn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure. But he, there was also the difference uh, of how is the entrance to go from Sadhana Bhakti into Raganuga Bhakti. And he, in the quote, it says, when I start to see my Gurudev not as a mere Sadhaka.
that means I start to see and feel my good if and I I think also all my brothers and sisters as you know the Darcy's who they are and that's why we have such a perfect uh, chance here to practice also to see each others as the Darcy's of Shimate Radhika and then when we worship with that devotion then also Krishna is very happy and he will be felt, he will be seen and all the living entities through the mercy of our Swamini who is the personified devotion. Wow! And then the mind is completely in the right, uh, how do you say that, tune. I don't know if it all makes sense to you, but this came to me right now, how beautiful these verses are connected how actually the love is connected and how we all are connected to that love by the mercy of Gurudev. Yes, this makes perfect sense. Quickly, saintly mind, take shelter of this supreme personality named Radha. Radha Abhidha also means the holy name of Radha. O saintly mind, take shelter of the holy name of Radha. Till here we heard about the mercy of Radha and we also heard that if it's entering our heart, it will clean the heart completely and then it will shine inside out. And we also heard that it's, that it's uh, actually through her mercy very easy to get. Otherwise, how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could give us that present? But he also said, we should chant the holy name, right? So here is about, take shelter of the holy name of Radha. This holy name has enchanting nature, Manshu so And Sri Radha has, has directly descended in the form of the syllables of her holy name. So this holy name will call down its bearer, Sri Radha, to bring her before anyone who sincerely takes shelter of it. Namaya Titi Nama. The holy name never gives up its merciful nature. And anyone who even once pronounces that sweet Radha Nama can never give it up anymore. Rather, the devotee's desire to taste its nectar increases more and more. This holy name is a grove full of desire vines. Adi Kalpatalatani Kunjam and it, it and it fulfills even all of Krishna's desires. So this is actually what also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, isn't it? Hari nama, Hari nama, Hari nama, eva kevalam kalaunasti, 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 eva eva gatyanyata. It's the only way, it's the only way, it's the only way in this Kali Yuga here. 
So by pronouncing, like Sunidhi Didi also explained very nicely, by using our tongue to vibrate the name of Radha, these things we heard before will happen. She will play first in our mind, then in our heart, clean it up and shine through inside out. So we can use that Manju Swabhav, this enchanting nature to call her, open the door, please, I have not really offer you a very nice place, it's a dark, dirty place, but please come. And like Radha Charan Prabhu nicely said, it's the beginning, yes, first we need the mercy. Then, when the cleaning process is going further, we will start to think, why only take? I want to give. You are mine. I have to serve you. But without taking in the beginning that mercy, so being in this position of a baby, I surrender, I need your mercy. Without that position it will never come to the other position. So we should not try to start with the second step. It will come anyway after the first. <laughs> so here we got the goal and here we got the way how to attain it. How we can call the mercy of Radharani, which is the only way to her seva, to her service. How we can get that mercy by chanting her name. And then Krishna himself will come and say, Oh my God, who is chanting the name of my beloved? Let me give him the highest present I can give. And this is the seva to Radharani's lotus feet. Even for him, it is the highest goal. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants every one of us to take that present in this Kali Yuga. And amazingly, <laughs> I mean, I I never really prepare for that. We are just searching. Of, of course, I, 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 I made a sign where I can find the quotes, but I didn't, you know, prepare for it, how to connect it. But actually, they always perfectly fit together. Because the last quote for today, it's also a perfect end of what we heard. Because what is, what is the result then when we do this? And this is 
stated in verse number 33 of Shri Sri Radha Rasa Suranidhi, where I found the next quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Remembering Sri Radha's food dust. According to Sri Rupa Goswami, one of the symptoms of bhava or rati, devotee, is that he is bound by firm hope. So now, what we heard just now, what is giving us firm hope? In my words, I would say, the experience of Radharani's mercy on different levels, in different tastes, in different kinds. To experience the mercy of Radharani through Gurudev, given by Gurudev, through the mercy given by other devotees, in different kinds, all this mercy experienced in my life not just heard about it, no, experienced. I'm not worth to get this mercy, but I get it anyway. And I can have this experience again and again. I feel it. By this experience, firm hope is coming. So then, something will happen. Then the spiritual world is sweet. The material world is sweet. Govinda is sweet. And Sri Radha is sweet. Madura heute sumadura. Taha heute sumadura. Taha heute ati madura apanara ekakana. Vyape sap tri bhuvane dashadike bohe yara pura. Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Krishna is sweeter than sweet. And even sweeter than that. And even more sweet than that. So let's see. Then the spiritual world is sweet. Okay, I think everybody can understand that the spiritual world is sweet. But he has written the material world is also sweet. How that? Because by the mercy of Radharani, everything we do is seva. And sevaras itself is as sweet as Radharani. Because it emanates from her. So it has the same nature like Radharani. So then even we are here in the material world, it seems to be so sweet. And it is. Because actually the mind is not dwelling in the material world then. And then even Govinda is sweet. <laughs> well, the one who wants to serve Krishna, he will think, how dare, 
You can't say that. He's always sweet. No, not for the mandri. In the Sevaras, together with Radharani, he gets sweet. Otherwise, he's not. If he's God, she's not sweet. If he is in Lila Rasa, yes, then he gets sweet. And the more he's subdued by our Swamini, the more sweet he is. And of course, Sri Rata is sweet. That we can also understand. <laughs> so this will happen. So we can see that this is actually everything in one line. If we accept the mercy, open the door from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we accept the mercy, we take the Nam and let it clean the heart, then all these things will happen. And at least here in this material world, it will end like this. Then the spiritual world is sweet, the material world is sweet, Govinda is sweet, and Sri Rata is sweet. Everything is sweet then. Krishna is sweeter than sweet, and even sweeter than that, and even more sweet than that. How it comes? We will be there. Radharani will meet him. Then he gets sweet. Seeing her, he gets more sweet. The more attributes he sees in her, consciously, the more sweet he gets. The more Radharani is serving him, the more sweet he gets, the more he is subdued. And that makes him even more sweet. And a single drop of that sweetness pervades all the three worlds flowing in all ten directions. And here comes an interesting quote. An inquisitive person once asked a great saint, I have taken the food dust of many great souls upon my body, but still I did not attain love for God. I mean, our goal is love of God, not God. Love for God is written here. So still we did not attain love of God. The great saint slightly smiled and he said, You may have smeared that dust on your body, but you should also smear some of it on your mind and on your heart. Sripad Prabhupada did the right thing, for he writes Smarami. Smarami Radham 
Aravindanetram. I remember Sri Radhika's food dust. Another meaning of Smarami may be that Sri Pad vows to remember Sri Radhika's food dust of her loving service because he cannot attain it directly. Smaran. So let, let us take our mind and our heart and trench it in the mercy of Rata, which, may, which means, like here, we are sharing about Radharani. The tongue is moving by vibrating about the qualities of Radharani. We remember Radharani and we chant her holy name. And by this, we will reach that goal by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of Radharani, which is coming through this succession through Gurudev, we just have to take it. Jai Shri Rade. So if you want to comment on that or share something, please. Otherwise, I will stop here for today. Thank you so much for your association, for your inspiration. Thank you, Gauravani. It was very beautiful and very, how do you say, full circle of love. Yes, a, a full circle of Radharani's mercy. <laughs> by, the, by the mercy of Gurudev. Yes, Gurudev was very busy today, but we could at least see him oh, he, he <laughs> in was. his busyness. I, I, I can feel he's always here with one ear. He's, he's blessing always. us. Gurudev, <laughs> <laughs> I know he's waving. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your association. <laughs>